Hey guys, Prince Mastodon here, and we're going to do a live commentary face cam battle for Total War Attila. And apparently there were a lot of changes made um, this morning, like a, well, a new patch was made. And uh, we'll see if we could uh, find anything. Who shall we use today? Let's see. Well, I used the Saxons last night, which I'll show in a few days. Should I show them again? No, let, let's switch it up to somebody else. Let's try the Huns. <laughs> I mean, um, what I'll say about the Huns is they're, they're, they're not very good right now. What, what I think they need to do about the Huns is I think they need to lower the cost of their, their cavalry units because, like, for example, their, their top tier uh, melee cav is 975 um, units. and Well, I mean, 975 monetary units. And they're just medium cav at best so they get they get destroyed by by heavy cav and they're, they're like probably like half half the cost of, of these guys it might be an exaggeration but still you get the point so how can we use these guys step warlord hunnic warlord let's use this a hunnic warlord for my general i know it's expensive but whatever um yeah no one's joining yet Let's change the map here so it's different from my from my next video. Since we're the Huns, let's fight in Gaul somewhere. There we go. Let's make sure it's not lopsided. <clears throat> Whoa, <laughs> there's a huge mountain there. Let's try Vesancio. Uh But, yeah, the, the audio is going to be a little off in this video. Sorry about that. But I, I think it'll be fun still. That one looks kind of weird too. Let's try this one. It's gonna keep building my army. I can try Shock Cav. One of these first wave lancers. Ooh, Noble Step Cataphract. Alright, someone's joined. Hi. No artillery. Max one elephant. He's using the Franks. Nice. Hey, that's weird. This is a, a mirror matchup what I did last time. I was the Franks and he was, the, the opponent was the Huns. It wasn't this guy. This guy's name is MFG Blinkers. I hope he takes his time because I'm going to take my time building my army here. Let's turn this on. Oh, there is a heavy cav here. Let's try these guys. Noble Step Cataphracts. Let's get four of them. Then, to uh, top it off, let's give him... Let's give my guys some support here. Hunnic Mounted Warlords? There we go. I have... I can get one more cav unit. I'll just go with a max of 8. 8 cav. Um, let's get some archers too. We'll get some, some cheap archers. That could max this out. We'll get eight, eight archers, eight foot archers. So I have a lot of uh, foot archers. I have no uh, no horse archers though. I did that on purpose, I guess. I, I, I don't want to waste any of my cab on that. Let me tell this guy. One moment. All right, so I can get a bunch of cheap dudes. Let's get a bunch of these guys. Oh, I'm maxed out. Alright. Let's get a Bosphorn Warrior then. Put my uh, upgrades on my general. Ha! <laughs> look at those upgrades. Oh, that's a lot of upgrades. <laughs> what do you say? I. Probably gonna get my butt kicked here. But. I, I promised I was gonna use the Hunts. I mean, it's one of my, his my historical favorites, which means. They're automatically one of my my favorites in the game. After the Eastern Romans, of course. I probably should have practiced with these guys before just recording it. Oh well. F it. Oh, th this one's cool. This map looks like there's some uh, some little buildings here from uh, the uh, the preview here. 
we shall see. So how are you guys liking the game so far? Whoever owns the game. And uh, do you guys plan on buying the game? I think it's totally worth it. It's, it's the newest Total War game. And then uh, if, you th if you think about like in a year, this game's going to be so awesome. I say a year because uh, they're going to be adding, you know, factions, um, making tweaks to the gameplay, um, you know, fine-tuning it, and adding uh, maybe more gameplay modes, I hope. But I really want a free-for-all option for this game. That's weird, though. I, I didn't know these guys had um, heavy cab. I guess I didn't explore it that well, their options. So we'll see how these, uh, these heavy... These cataphract dudes are. And they're considered shot calf, so I do need to get that charge in. If I don't get that charge in, it's they're not going to be uh, worthwhile. Still loading. Yeah, this is a cool looking map. I like it. So yeah, crap loads of... I have eight... Archers, foot archers. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I spent my money on on heavy cav. I didn't want to waste my money on you know the horse archers. I mean, I'm sure they are effective. I just didn't want to do it. All right, to my guy like this, and I do have some shock infantry or some uh, some melee infantry. Not much. Let's put my general on the right. Let's see what my units while we're here. I want to see what my guys look like. Noble Step Cataphracts. That's pretty cool looking. Let's look at my general. Warlord! That's my general. I can keep him alive at all costs. That's why I put so many upgrades on him. I don't want to lose my general. That's how paranoid I am of losing my general. Honey Horseman. Hunnic Dismounted Warbands. Bosphoran Warriors. <laughs> That's... That's mighty kind of them to, to join my, my cause. Step Tribesman. He's ready. Uh, two of these uh, Step Shield Archers. And then six of these Step Bows. Alright, he's ready. Whoa, this Battle Spire actually likes me. Kind of surprised by that. Let's move up first. By the way, to do what I'm doing right now, you gotta highlight your units first, like this. And then you hold the... Uh, any of the directional pads in the desired direction you want to go. So up, down, left, or right. But you got to hold it, though. And they'll go there. Hold space bar to see where you guys are going. So my opponent's army. He's got a bunch of Germanic Spearmasters. He's got some sword units. Uh, ooh, Germanic crossbows. Quinn Cav does he have? Untrustionas. Cavalry Guard. His general is a Frankish general. I'm going to be going for his general when I have the opportunity to. I'm, I'm willing... I mean, I think he's had, he has a lot of hitting units besides the ones we just saw. Let's scout this area. These trees right here. Let's scout in force, actually. So here's what's going on. He has a units hidden over here somewhere. And he might have guys in these trees. I don't think so. I don't think he can deploy that close. Nope. If there was something here, they would have been seen already. His crossbows are going to have a lot of fun with these, with my multitude of, of foot archers here. Comes this cav. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a great ambush there. Now I'm mocking uh, the advisor, not my, not my opponent. He is coming out. I kind of wanted to come in. I wanted to commit these guys. He's gonna have to commit though when he sees how much uh, archery I have. I have a crap load of archery. What, he has two crossbows to, to deal with it? So I can have, what, four four units of archers per, per crossbow unit. I don't 
think my opponent chose wisely. I hope he has more troops than this. Let's do it. Let's start this cavalry, or the archer, the missile engagement. I'm going to target these spears too. Now he might just go in for a straight charge with his general, or some of his cavalry. He might just come in here. So I have to be on the lookout for that. I might swing my cavalry a little bit closer. Because when he sees that he's just outgunned here, he, he might just try that. But I got these guys on the standby. I'll move them closer. Alright, so... Thus begins, begins the... Yep, he's gonna do it. Nope, he's not, because I got my cavalry threatening him not to. So his crossbows are ready. Look at that, they're already down to, what, 40? He's trying to move forward. It's not going to help. Now he's going to try to, what do you call it, send his infantry in. I'm just going to kite away. I'm going to go for his general. I know what he's talking about. Oh, his general is so toast. Once that general dies, this game's over. My guys are breaking, actually, but whatever. Let's strike fear into his general. And then charge the heck out of him. Gotta kite my infantry again. Now his guys are breaking. Let's focus fire on these guys. The general's dead. That's it. The general has been killed. Excellent. Excellent. Now I got these units just behind him now. Let's pull these guys out. Oh, I didn't even see those guys. <laughs> he just ran right through my dudes. That's not good for him. Let's pull these guys out and let my archers just be beat the crap out of these guys. The enemy are losing ground. I can charge these dudes. See, my, my foot archers are shooting this his uh, horse unit up. They're gonna die. Let's just get my cavalry on all sides of his, of his spears. And I'm gonna focus fire on his spears now. Alright, so he said this is the first time. Good game to him, though. Like, that was his first time online. And, um... Yeah, I had, a, I had a, an okay outing with my first time at the hunt. 
Um, but yeah, that's cool seeing that they did have those uh, those units. Like, well, let's go back over there. I want, I want to look at their their stats a little bit. Um, yeah, I didn't know they had heavy cataphracts. Let's see. These guys. Noble Step Cataphracts. Hmm, very nice. So I guess they do have that one heavy cat heavy cavalry unit. Alright guys, well, um, I don't know if I, if I really want to spend more money on the Hunnic Warlord for my general. It's a thousand uh, monetary unit things. That's pretty expensive, but whatever. I mean, it, it just shows how how much now I want to keep my general alive. Uh, this this is a quite a contrast to um, to Rome Total War, Medieval Two, even Empire and Napoleon, where I didn't really care if I lost my general. Even if I used a Napoleon, I, I didn't really care that much. Um, but here, yeah, I think if you lose your general, it, it's pretty bad. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, face cam. I'll see you guys later.